man. Good to talk to y'all. How are y'all doing? We're doing well. I remember when you were up here last summer with Florida Georgia Line. You were so nice, man. You were hanging out. It's amazing how much things have changed for you just in the past year. Yeah, well, hopefully I'm still just as nice. <laughs> you were so nice. So I don't nice. see we why can, that would change. We can tell already. <laughs> so I feel like you're one more hit and then another song or two for Jason Aldean away from just being a total... <laughs> Like, which is fine. Like you can do that if you right. want. You deserve but I don't, it. At that I don't point think do that's it, yeah. you, though. I don't think that that's your nature. No, it's it's definitely not. I I love people. I I, I kind of always have. Plus, my dad would would uh whip me if I if I started acting like that. You know, uh, Morgan, I saw a picture of you and your dad for Father's Day. You you called him your hero. What did he instill in you that you feel that you carry along? Well, I think just uh he's he's probably like. Him and my mom both, but my dad is a very uh, selfless person. You know, growing up, um, he always, you know, we didn't have a whole lot of money or anything like that, but I uh, I loved to play baseball, and, and I was pretty good at baseball. And I, I just always remember, like, they always made sure I was on, on the best travel teams. They always made sure that I would have, you know, nice nice stuff for me to play with. And, you know, even if that meant that they didn't, they didn't buy whatever it is for, you know, clothes or shoes for however long, they always made sure that I was... I was the one who was was good, and I think you know that's what I guess that's what all parents would do. But you know they've always been just great role models for me, and the, you know just the love they have for each other and everything like that is uh, just you know been been super super awesome for me to grow up around, and I feel super lucky to have that. So um, and he's also like kind of my best friend, so we talk all the time, and oh, that's awesome. you know he gives me advice and things like that still. So it's a it's a good relationship for sure. You were a good baseball player too. Did were you a pitcher? Didn't you? I remember you telling me something suffering an arm injury or something like that. Am I making this up or is uh, that you're, accurate? You're right, that's a good memory. I uh, yeah, I, I played pitcher and shortstop, and I was supposed to go play in college, and uh, ended up messing my arm up right before that. Aww. Right before that was that was going to happen. So that's kind of when I started uh, learning to play guitar right then. So it's uh, you know looking back, I'm I'm glad it happened because I'm actually. I like singing better, and I'm actually better at singing than I was. <laughs> it was a blessing in disguise for sure. Is there like a is there a song idea or a thought that's been kicked around? Even you or Florida Georgia Line, even they're not adventurous enough to touch. No, that hasn't happened yet. But you're right. If anyone were to do it, it would definitely be BK. That's for <laughs> right. <sure. laughs> Why do does he come up with funny phrases and you're just yeah, like... <laughs> BK man, that boy. He's definitely uh, eccentric. I guess is a good way to put it. He's, yeah. He's, I love that guy. You know, I feel like they could pretty much pull anything off. If you were a gambling man, would you place a wager on Florida Georgia Line doing a song with Cardi B or any of you guys doing a song with Cardi B? Yes, I would definitely. I wouldn't. I wouldn't bet against them collabing with anyone. Honestly, I I, uh, I have definitely heard T Hub mention Cardi B before, so I, I I don't I haven't I don't have the lowdown or scoop or anything if if that's going on, but. No, it definitely would not surprise me at all. Morgan, you're certainly uh, you're in with the right crew in terms of really being experimental with your music and just having fun with it because that's really what it's all about. One more thing with Morgan Wallen, and then we'll let you go. Of course, you'll be back later on this summer again up in Saratoga with, with Luke, Luke. Uh, which is going to be awesome. What what's what is your interpretation of BFE in the song? Can you explain? We're just hanging around here in BFE. BFE. Yeah, well, there's some the actual letters. There's a. There's a little bit of foul language involved. You know? <laughs> what? I, I guess you guys probably know that, right? Yeah. So, what do you like? What's your your PG rated version of that? It's just the middle of nowhere, I guess. You know, I grew up. I was born in a town called Sneedville, Tennessee, and the, the closest wall, Walmart was about 45 minutes away. And there's a lot of people who who are from BFE, and and I relate to those people. So I kind of wanted to just give a shout out to, to back home and the people who. who what I was talking about. I feel like that could be a song. Like the song could be called Sneedville. <laughs> we'll help you write that when you come back with Luke later on this summer. All right, let's do it. I, I'll, I'll, write, I'll put y'all's names down beside beside that on my notepad. Awesome. Seriously, <laughs> Brian, yes, Chrissy, Morgan, and Jess, please. we want to write Sneedville with you in August. I promise we'll have a blast I, doing it. All right, I'll bring my guitar. <laughs> Morgan Wallen, thanks, brother. We appreciate it. Thanks so it. much. All right, thank y'all. Bye-bye.